Good morning, we're at the airport and today we're going to Japan. We're at Birmingham at the moment and today we're going on three flights. First we're going to go from Birmingham to Munich, then we're going to go from Munich to Tokyo and then we're going to go from Tokyo to Fukuoka. We're flying with Lufthansa so I'll let you know what they're like and usually when I go to Japan I fly direct all the way there in one go and this is the first time I'm going to be changing planes so we'll see how that goes as well. It's actually ages till we get to Fukuoka. It's um, I think it's about 23 hours till we get there now. So we'll see if that was a good plan or not. Wir sind jetzt in Deutschland. <laughs> we've arrived in Germany and um, we've just come off the plane. There's a screen over there with all the connections information but ours hasn't come on yet. It's um, in a couple of hours so we're just hanging around here and we found some nice comfy chairs. <laughs> Look how quiet it is. There's like nobody over here. <laughs> Everybody else has gone to get their bags. Except the guy who was throwing up downstairs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just as we got off the plane, there was a guy throwing up right there. <laughs> Poor guy. Jetzt sind wir in München. Und der das, das nächste <laughs> Das nächste Flug ist von München bis Tokyo, Haneda. I don't know if there's a German word for Tokyo. It's <laughs> just the same. I don't know. Um, ich habe Deutsch in der Schule gelernt. Um, I was really good at German at school and I haven't really used it that much since then. Apart from when I was on a work trip to Germany, I said to a guy on the street, wo könnten wir Schokolade kaufen? <laughs> Which is, where can we buy chocolate? So that's why you learn languages. <laughs> The reason why we've flown to Munich first is so we could fly from Birmingham which is a lot closer to where I live and it's a lot easier than going all the way to London and it was really nice to be at the airport really quickly. And then we're flying from Munich to Tokyo and then Tokyo to Fukuoka which is where we're staying first. Um, and we're doing that because it seemed a bit easier to get a plane rather than getting the bullet train. You can get the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Fukuoka. It takes about five hours which is probably a similar time to what the flight will take, but um, we spent less on the uh, the JR pass though because we're going to be in Fukuoka for what eight days? No, we're not going to get to Tokyo for about nine or ten days, so we would have had to buy the fourteen day JR pass if we got the bullet train from Tokyo down to Fukuoka initially. Yeah, the 14 day JR pass is pretty expensive, so we've just got the 7 day one for the middle of the trip. There'll be loads of new Japan videos coming up. There's going to be one every week, every Thursday, so look out for them and I hope you enjoy them. And um, when I was researching this trip, I found there aren't really that many videos about Fukuoka. Um, there's some from Michaela, she's quite a well-known Japan YouTuber, and there's quite a lot in Korean and other languages, but I didn't really find that many in English, so I hope if you're thinking of going there you'll find it useful. It should be pretty interesting because I think there's probably quite a lot of Korean culture there, because it's so easy to get from yeah. Korea. You can get a boat in, what is it, about a day? Maybe less than that? I don't think it's a day, it's a hydrofoil or something. Oh well, so it's probably quite To quick. Busan. So um, yeah, it should be interesting to see if there's any Korean culture come over there. Yeah, here at Munich Airport they've got nap cabs, <laughs> they're little sleeping cabins. You buy it on the screen, it's 30 euros for two hours and you get this little room to have a little sleep. It's got some charges in there, it's pretty nice. <laughs> and this area is quite good too. Salad dressing, a little salad, some fruit, and this 
Peter's a little cup of water is Phil's. He's gone for the chicken katsu curry. It's got some noodles, a berry tart, and here's the chicken katsu. Mine was actually really good. If you order a special meal, you get your dinner before everybody else. <laughs> so I've always finished. Mine was polenta with butternut squash curry. It was actually really nice. Here's the TV, it's like an iPad. And I brought my noise cancelling headphones, which are really good because then you can actually hear the film properly. And next to us here, there's this unusual thing. You can go downstairs and the toilets are downstairs on the plane. I've never seen that before. We're on Airbus A340-600. Legroom you get on the long haul flight. See, I'm not very tall, so for me it's fine. These are the forms you need for your visa, um, just for a normal 90 day tourist visa. They gave them out to everybody, um, you don't need to ask for them or anything, and you just fill them in while you're in the plane and give them to the person at passport control. This one you need to fill in one per family. It's got um, just your normal details name and address, date you arrived, your flight number, your nationality, date your birth, passport number. And then if you're bringing in any restricted items, if you've got over a million yen, <laughs> we don't have quite that much unfortunately, we could buy a lot of figures with that. Do you have any unaccompanied articles? I think that's things being sent separately to yourself. And it's just got some details on the back. And everybody has to fill in one of these as well. It's just um, your basic details, your name, date of birth, your address, your purpose of your visit, your flight number, how long you're going to stay in Japan, and your address in Japan, which is just the address of your hotel or wherever you're staying. And you have to tick to say if you've ever been deported or refused entry into Japan, if you've ever been convicted of a crime, and if you have any controlled substances or weapons, and it's got some details about them on the back. So we just fill these in and then give them to the person at passport control. And now I'm watching Coco. I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it before we land though. <laughs> Might have to finish it on the way back. hotel in Fukuoka. We're both very tired at the moment. Uh. <laughs> About 26 hours, something like that? Uh, 26 hours, I think so, since it's, we left home. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's been like one long day, or was it yesterday? It's all a bit confusing. Um, I didn't film that much at Haneda because it was really quiet and there were lots of people sitting around and I didn't think they'd really appreciate me filming them. Um, but the transfer was pretty easy from the international flight to the flight to Fukuoka. We just followed the signs to the domestic transfers and it was very easy. It wasn't that busy or anything. Fukuoka airport was pretty easy to navigate as well. And then we got the subway from there to Hakata, which um, is near, is the area we're staying in. When we got to Tokyo Haneda airport, we spotted some of the special ANA planes. We saw the C-3PO plane and the R2-D2 plane and there was another one that had BB-8 and R2-D2 on the side as well and I saw one with Kumamon on so many good planes they should make them all more fun so this evening we're going to go out and find something to eat and take our first look around Fukuoka I don't think I've said before the reason why we have come to Fukuoka is to explore a different part of Japan and when I was first planning this trip 
it started off with an email from ANA that said you could get free stopovers on your flight to Japan. So I was looking at things to do in Okinawa because I always thought that would be a cool place to visit. But then I actually found more interesting things I wanted to do in Kyushu. So we're staying at the top of Kyushu in Fukuoka and we're going to do some day trips and explore the rest of it. Out of the main islands that make up Japan, Kyushu is the southernmost one, apart from Okinawa, which is little islands that are much further south. Um, but in the main clump of islands, <laughs> Kyushu is the southernmost one, and Fukuoka is the main city on Kyushu. It's right at the top, and we're going to explore different parts of the island, and we're going to go right down to the bottom to Kagoshima, which is on the southernmost point. <laughs> 